A crew consisting of three democratic pirates finds a bounty of 100 coins. The strongest pirate must propose a split and all pirates vote. If the vote passes, meaning that it gets at least half the votes, his proposal is accepted. If the vote doesn't pass, he is killed and the process is repeated. Knowing that all pirates possess perfect logic and their priorities are in order, surviving, then more bounty, then more deaths, how will the coins end up being split? For the question we are looking at today, I was given two minutes. You can pause the video and try to find the answer and I'll see you back here. This time, I strongly encourage you to do so. Let's look at a couple of examples. Consider the case when the strongest pirate is greedy and he proposes that he gets all the bounty. Suppose his proposal is rejected and he is killed. Now, the middle pirate must propose. He proposes 100-0 and it passes, as it's a tie at worst. This is a better outcome than the first for the median pirate as he gets more money. It is also a better result for the weakest pirate as there are fewer pirates alive. In hindsight, for both of them, the vote on the first proposal was the right decision. As the strongest pirate has perfect logic and doesn't want to die, he needs to do something else. Let's look at another option he has to try and survive. He could propose 0, 0, 100. This would pass as both he and the weakest pirate would vote, as he knows that he would get 0 otherwise. So, the strongest player has an option in which he stays alive, but does he have a better one? As we've seen before, if the strongest pirate dies, the median pirate will go for 100 0. For the strongest one to survive, he needs another vote. Getting a vote from the median pirate, as the strongest pirate can't offer more than 100 coins, and in case of a tie, the median pirate still would rather see him dead, he won't be able to persuade him. Getting a vote from the weak pirate, in the other scenario, the weak pirate gets zero. Given the pirate priorities, it's enough to offer one coin to persuade him. As the strongest pirate maximizes his loot, he will go for the 9901 split. This is his best proposal and will pass with a 2 to 1 vote. Let's try and solve this problem in the case of 100 pirates and 100 coins. For n pirates, let's denote them p1 less than p2 and so on less than pn and sn equals c1, c2, cn, the bounty split. We know that s2 equals 0, 100 and s3 equals 1, 0, 99. In the case of four pirates, due to S3, we know that P2 will accept 0, 1, 0, 99, and thus S4 equals 0, 1, 0, 99. Similarly, S5 equals 1, 0, 1, 0, 98, and S6 equals 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 98. Continuing formal electromathematical induction, we get our final answer zeros for odd pirates between 1 and 99, ones for even pirates between 2 and 98, and the remaining 51 coins for the strongest one. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this and would love to see more, like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the alarm bell to be notified when new videos are released. Leave any comments about this problem below or on the problems dedicated webpage. For more info, please check the description box below. See you next time!